Another hot day, 93 degrees for the high temperature in Denver on Wednesday. Normal is 90, and the record only at 98, just 5 degrees higher. Now, there is a warm front across the state, and that's where the action is, right along that front northeast corner of Colorado. It's mainly just hot and dry back across the rest of Colorado. But this front is going to hang around here for a while, and that's where we'll see the possibility of strong to severe thunderstorms during the rest of this night, and that'll be out on the northeast plains. Quiet for the rest of Colorado, and rather comfortable. Aside from the thunderstorms on the northeast plains, it's going to be 62 in Denver, 43 Leadville 66 at Grand Junction. During the day on Thursday, the front is still lurking out there, and that's where most of the activity is going to be once again, with strong thunderstorms developing near that front in the afternoon. We might get a few that will be along the I-25 corridor. We'll keep a close watch on that. Temperatures are going to be slightly lower, 90 for Denver, just in the 80s on the northeast corner, but triple digits down across southeastern Colorado, 75 degrees at Leadville, 102 out west at Grand Junction. So the metro area, mostly upper 80s to around 90 degrees, a little cooler, more humid off to the northeast, and pleasant numbers with little, if any, precipitation expected in the mountains. 62 at the storms on the eastern plains tonight, and then during the day Thursday, 90, warm, dry in the morning, a few afternoon storms. Friday, a better chance of those storms coming in with high temperatures in the upper 80s, some severe weather possible Friday. So that's our first alert day. Bright spot Saturday, 93, mostly sunny. It's going to be a hot day Sunday. Scattered storms Monday and Tuesday. Monsoon moisture returns next Wednesday with a better chance of slow-moving, soaking thunderstorms.